you ever feel like someone's watching you? As you grab your morning latte, fetch your dry cleaning, or stop by the gym? Well, you're probably not wrong. With surveillance cameras everywhere and fully trackable phones a way of life, it's pretty easy for spies to spy on you. So what do you do if you want to hide from the prying eyes of, say, the NSA? Seth has a way. If you're going to the bioscope this weekend, you might catch Harrison Ford and Gary Oldman's latest gem, Paranoia. Oldman and the H-Dog play the world's two most powerful tech billionaires who happen to be bitter rivals with a complicated past who will stop at nothing to destroy each other. A young superstar, seduced by unlimited wealth and power, falls between them and becomes trapped in the middle of the twists and turns of their life and death game of corporate espionage. By the time he realizes his life is in danger, well, you know, he's up the creek. Five years ago, we'd have watched a movie like that and wondered idly if we had what it takes to escape murder at the hands of people with unlimited power and money. What you didn't know was that you were living in an action movie the whole time. Earlier this year, former NSA operative Edward Snowden tore the veil off the world of clandestine surveillance, revealing the US government's penchant for spying on international citizens. We're guessing that you don't like foreign powers keeping tabs on you. So what can you do to escape the attentions of powerful people? Listen closely, we don't have much time. Start by taking an inventory of anything you own or borrow that can be traced. We're talking phones, credit cards, cars, bank accounts, social media profiles, Wi-Fi coffee machines, houses, rented PO boxes, and more. Anything, and I do mean anything. Now decide what you can live without and destroy it. We're not kidding. Almost every item that you own is a pathway to tracking you down for remote surveillance or abduction. You could be abducted too. I'm not crazy. Let's talk money. Sadly, you do still need it. Get rid of your bank account and your credit cards. Cash is king, mostly because it's usually untraceable. But no self-respecting lover of tech is going to give up online shopping once they go underground. You'll need something for online transactions. That's right, Bitcoin. Seeing as you don't actually have any Bitcoin yet, and we already told you to get rid of your bank account and cards, you'll need to arrange to purchase Bitcoin in person, with trade or cash, via the Bitcoin Talk Forum. Bitcoin is untraceable and encrypted, as long as you use secure servers to make your purchases. Which brings us to the subject of the internet. Welcome to the world of Tor browsing. Tor is short for the onion router. Don't ask. The Tor client is free to download and simple to install on almost any machine. If you're using a Mac, you don't actually need to install anything. Just download the software, extract it, and run it. Tor works by encrypting and randomizing the path of your data from your computer to the server and back. But be warned, Tor can't solve all anonymity problems. It focuses only on protecting the transport of data. For one thing, whoever's watching your data will know that you're using Tor. Additionally, opening documents like PDFs downloaded in Tor while you're online will reveal your non-Tor IP address on the server on which the document is based, which, you know, is a problem. Whatever you do, always observe the golden rule. Don't use your real name or address from now on, on the net. Lastly, let's talk telephony, the trickiest part of dealing with government surveillance. Your best bet is sticking to pay phones, but we don't exactly have an over-proliferation of those bad boys in South Africa, and at some point, you're gonna find yourself broken down in the great Karoo with a sheep of questionable honor for company needing to place a phone call. The problem is the SIM card. South African law stipulates that your personal information, including your ID number and home address, need to be registered to every SIM card that you purchase. Now, we must be clear that we don't condone criminal behavior at all, but this is the truth. The way around this for many people is to purchase fraudulently authorized SIM cards that can't be traced back to them. Even if you do have someone else's personal info tied to the SIM you're using, authorities can still flag your SIM for monitoring and track your movement patterns via signal triangulation. You need to keep your phone wrapped in signal blocking heavy metal at all times when it isn't in use, or slip it into an off pocket to make absolutely sure no location specific data is leaked into the open from your phone. Of course, you can opt to use your smartphone over Wi-Fi when you do find an available network. If your phone's an Android, you can install mobile Tor software and then chat anonymously and off the record to friends in the surveilled networks like Google and Facebook through Gibberbot, or place calls and video chat with apps like Tango and Kakao Talk. 
another relatively new app called Secrypt purports to encrypt your mobile calls seamlessly, which looks promising. All of which is to say, if you're serious about avoiding surveillance, ditch your online life, burn your ID, abandon your home, and move to the backwoods of Alaska. This insert will self-destruct in five seconds. Five, four, three. <laughs>